So if you're never gonna own a Rolls Royce, buy this. You pretty much have it right here. I'm feeling McDonald's vibes today with this outfit and this hair. And today we are gonna be doing a haul. Now, let me just get a little comfy here, okay? So guys, I don't really do hauls that often because I don't always buy a lot of products. I like to use up all of my products, kind of tell you how I feel about them and then move on to the next. But I've been hearing y'all, y'all have been saying, try some new stuff, show us some new stuff. So I bit the bullet and spent about like 600 or $700 at Sephora. I know. It's a problem, I don't know why I did it, but honestly, I'm really happy I did because I've been testing out these products for you and I am ready to tell you guys what I think. I'm going to put y'all on to some of my faves now. Snap with me, ladies, okay? This is exclusive, okay? I am literally showing you guys the best of the best today and I'll give you a little tea, a little, a little sneak peek. There is going to be a fragrance in here that you guys are gonna see that is now my new favorite fragrance. And I've been wearing it for a week and I've gotten like 10 compliments already 10 not one not two not three but 10 and um don't mind the fact that i broke my nail yeah so my last video was me trying to look good every week for my videos and then i broke my nail yep it's my fault it's 100 percent my fault i was really going to town in my wig i was really scratching the braids i was going like this real hard and snap you guys are going to be in love with some of these things that i'm gonna tell you about i'm going to give you very in-depth very in-depth descriptions of each one. All right, I've been babbling for too long. Let's just get into the video. But before getting started, please do not forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on Instagram so you guys know every time I upload. And yeah, let's just get into the video. We are gonna start off with the first product that I'm gonna show you. This is the Moroccan Oil Body Night Serum. It looks like this. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna tell you about this serum. So I actually got this serum about three weeks ago. I'm obsessed with it. I put it on my body directly after the night shower. I said night shower specifically because it's a night serum. Obviously you can wear it whenever you want, but I like to feel extra like moisturizing and like serum-y before night. If serum is a word, that's how I feel. And I love this. It's apparently supposed to help stimulate blood flow. It increases a more youthful look and appearance. We love youthful skin. I like to put this on my problem areas like my stretch marks, my butt, my legs, my arms, all of that because I do have a little bit of an elasticity problem with my skin. Not like the worst, but my skin stretches when I lose and gain weight. So I have been trying to moisturize those problem areas a lot more. Not only does it actually feel amazing and lightweight, but it also smells delicious and y'all are gonna get compliments if you wear this. Okay, you don't even need a perfume because this is the one. I do have a lotion that I'm gonna be talking about today and this is like my day lotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's my day scent. I honestly can wear it at night as well, but guys, I just have like, you know, like my scents for each thing. I have like my morning scent. I have my afternoon brunch scent. I have my I'm going out to dinner scent. I have my I'm going shopping scent. I have my I'm getting that D tonight scent. I have all the scents. This one right here is my day scent. It is the Way Body Cream. It looks just like this. Let me get y'all a good focus on it. What I love the most about this is the smell. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's the smell for me. It's different than the rest of the way smells. They usually have like a perfumey smell. This one right here, let me just, let me just take a whiff. Okay, this one right here smells like baby powder and beach. Weird scents, amazing though. And I got a lot of compliments from my man wearing this and I just love when he notices when I switch it up cause you know, he's paying attention. And I'm gonna be real with you, like when he notices it, I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 for me because you know, men, they pay no mind. They just, you know, whatever. But when you switch it up and they notice, you know it's good. So this right here, not only is it moisturizing, but it smells amazing. And honestly, if you're not like a huge perfume girl, lotion it is, and this right here is moisturizing and it smells like heaven. Okay, so moving on to skin. I have talked about this on my channel before, I think, but I'm not sure. This is my second bottle of the Youth of the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. This is one of my, I think this is like one of my favorite morning cleansers. I like to wash my face with this in the morning or right after waking up. Something about it is refreshing, but not too refreshing. It's herby, but it's not too herby. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't really like too much of like that botanicals smell. This right here is the perfect amount of like trees, but like not too much. You know what I'm saying? And it just 
really keeps my skin clear and healthy. It's not too heavy on the skin. Sometimes too heavy of like, you know, retinols and things like that. Like they're great, but sometimes you just don't want it. Like you just don't need it. And this right here is just super clean, super fresh. It's one of my favorites. It's my second bottle. This is at Sephora, pick it up. Okay, so let's talk about masks. So I have a lot of masks that you like wash off your face and they harden and they like make you feel like real tight. And I don't have like a lot of masks that are, you know, more lightweight, more more, you know, for like other things like glowing skin and firming and things like that. So I actually invested in the Summer Fridays R&R mask. Show it to you guys first. So what I like about this mask right here is it just helps with smoothing out your skin. It's a replenishing mask. It has like rose powder in it. I like it because it's just, you know, very lightweight. It's a mask that you can damn, like you, you don't leave it on like and don't wash it off. Like you're not gonna wash it off. You just use like a damp washcloth and kind of pat it and then kind of massage the rest of the oils into the face for the day. And it's just one of those masks that are just going to make you have like firm, you know, smoothed out, healthy looking skin. Okay, so speaking of masks, we have another mask here and this is the Cora Organics Noni Glow Sleeping Mask. I love sleeping masks. I have the Laneige sleeping mask. I think it's in lavender. I do love it. And I also have the fresh rose sleeping mask as well. And I, I'm just a sleeping mask kind of girl because I just feel like waking up feeling refreshed and feeling good. Like those really make you feel good when you wake up in the morning. I don't know, something about going to bed with like a dry, you know, not prepped face. I just don't like it anymore. Like I became bougie. I now like the, the prepped skin at night so I can wake up feeling good. And this right here is just an amazing mask. It says that it's a lightweight bouncy treatment gel mask that boosts hydration to deliver smoother, plumper looking skin. Wake up with your skin super soft and glowing. Really great. I haven't used it enough for me to give you like a full on review, but when I do, y'all will see. But so far I like it, I do. Okay, so I heard you guys. You guys told me from the rooftops, Haley, buy vegan makeup and vegan skincare. So I went to the Sephora, I found this, I knew you guys would love it, so here we are. The Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. First of all, packaging is literally everything. It is this gorgeous, like neon, yellow, green look. Absolutely gorgeous. And also it freaking works. I've been using it every day before I put on my makeup. I don't know how you're supposed to use this, but all I know is I use it as a moisturizer to help, you know, make me feel like less dry. So right before I do my makeup, I put this on. I put my makeup on top of it. I don't need to use so many oils. I don't feel like my foundation is like dry patching in weird areas where sometimes in the winter, I do feel that way. I feel like I get dry patches every once in a while, so I didn't want that. It's the perfect amount of oils in here. It's just the perfect amount of moisturizing. I don't feel oily. I don't feel like heavy. And I just needed like a quick, easy like lotion for my face. So we got one. Okay, so speaking of oils, I do love a great hydrating face oil. And I picked up this one from Pharmacy. Now, what I love about this is it's thick like honey, baby. So when you like use the dropper and put it into your hand or onto your face, Hi, it's like thicky thick, okay? Like with two C's. It is incredible, I love this so much and I am a face oil whore, I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Especially if they're not gonna make me break out. I just love ones that are like super like simple and not like too like nasty with like weird products. It says it's a fast absorbing, luxurious, lightweight oil that delivers intensive moisturizer while helping to smooth out the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Honey. That's a win-win for me. I don't know about you, but I don't have Botox, okay? Maybe I should, but I don't. I literally have nothing done. And I have been doing everything in my power to, you know, help my skin without the help of, you know, cosmetics in that department. And by the way, I have no issue with it. I am considering it. But for now, I love using moisturizers and oils and things like that that are natural that I can, you know, hopefully help with these things on my own. And I just love a face oil and anything that says wrinkles and fine lines, count me in, okay, because I'm getting it. Okay, so I'm about to put y'all on to my new favorite lip moisturizers. <sighs> I'm a little late to the game. I'm a little embarrassed. Like, I feel like I'm not really a self-care queen if I didn't have these until now, but it's fine, it's fine. The Fresh Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm and the Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm are now my new favorites. These go into my purse 
Hi, welcome. I love them. They're great. Um, I've been using the Laneige lip mask for quite some time now. You guys know this, but it is a sleeping lip mask. It doesn't really matter to me. I put it on my lips during the day, but this right here is what I needed to do touch-ups. When I am not wearing, you know, lipstick and I'm just, you know, running errands, I need like a little moisturizer and these are just so cute and small in my bag. Let me show you guys what they look like up close. These are amazing. I don't know what took me so long to get them, but I'm so happy with it. If you want to, you know, kiss someone and you want your lips to taste and smell good, these are the ones, honey, especially the caramel. Okay, so I needed a spray that I wear on my skin. You know what, I'm not doing a makeup look and I'm just running out. Either I'm going to the gym or I'm going to run errands and I'm not wearing makeup that day. I needed a spray. So I got the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Facial Mist show this to you guys this face spray right here like it's amazing like I honestly would wear it actually let me not spray it over my sunglasses but like let me just wait on my chest it smells good it is good it's refreshing I love having a face mist I don't think they're like super necessary but if you like that hydrating feel and you don't like when your skin feels tight and like it doesn't have anything on it and you need a little mist going on this right here is great for your face okay so you guys already know I am a body scrub girl I think and believe so heavily and deeply in body scrubs like you'll never be able to tell me that they don't work they do and I picked up the fresh original brown sugar body polish um, it was very long awaited, honestly, like I feel like, you know, I, I have had my eye on it for a minute now and I really, I did want it. So I got it. It smells really good. I'll let you know if I like am obsessed with it. Um, you guys are, you know, the tree hut one and the way one are like my go-tos, but I, I'm always open to trying new ones. This one right here has like four precious oils of primrose, sweet almond, apricot kernel, jojoba i love jojoba oil and i love almond oil so yes we're almost to the perfume part so you guys already made it halfway through i'm so proud of you yay okay so we're gonna go on to the tinted face oil i was actually recommended this by the sephora employee she told me hey you do you need a buildable coverage foundation that can go from light to medium to you know full coverage that you can wear on a day where you maybe aren't feeling wearing makeup I'm like, yes, because I love, I absolutely love full coverage foundations. Like they are my favorite. I'm obsessed with them. They're just, they're, they're my vibe. I, I like covering up my dark spots and my blemishes. It's just the way I am. But I do need something that's a little bit less coverage on a day where it's either no makeup or a ton of makeup. I need a middle ground. I'm looking for a middle ground. And I feel like I found it with this particular foundation. It's by the brand Kosas. I have never freaking heard of it in my life, by the way. And it's really tiny and cute. You flip it upside down. You shake it until you hear like the ball like make a noise. You squirt it on the back of your hand or wherever and you just kind of apply it to your face. It is buildable coverage. I do like these types of foundations if they work. I am going to test this out on camera maybe for you guys if I'm doing like a makeup routine before the gym and I wanted something a little, you know, where I don't look crazy, crazy dead because I hate looking dead in the morning. And I'll let you guys know in that video if it comes out like really great because I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited. She did test it on me in the store, so I did like it immediately, but I wanna see how it wears throughout the day. You got to the fragrance portion of the video. You guys are the exclusive ones that are seeing it. I don't know what else to tell you. Like literally there should be like an emoji. I'm gonna maybe put an emoji on the screen. If you guys got to this portion of the video, comment this emoji down in the comments because yes, you guys are a part of the gang. So first fragrance that I bought, I am putting you on. I am putting you freaking on to the best of the best. Tom Ford Ombre Leather All Over Body Spray. You guys already know I liked my other Tom Ford one. I think it was called like Portofino something. I don't remember the, the beginning part of it, but it was like something day Portofino. This is grown woman. Guys, I am transforming, okay? I am no longer a little girl. I'm no longer a teenager. I'm no longer like, you know, a young adult. I am a grown woman. And this right here, <sighs> yes, it smells mm, like, I don't even know how to describe it, guys. Like. It makes you want to freaking go out and like be like sniff me bitch like that's how it, that's how i feel like i feel like that's what i want i want people to come and sniff me like i don't know it smells like a man but in the best way possible that it's feminine i don't know guys it's 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 okay imagine you driving in your brand new rolls royce okay has the pure leather seats in it you walk in you take a whiff 
that's this. I know, you know, smelling like a car isn't really your vibe, but imagine if a Rolls Royce was a, like a, a smell you'd want to wear. Hi. So if you're never going to own a Rolls Royce, buy this. You pretty much have it right here. Now, completely opposite of that smell has now been my favorite perfume. This right here, um, it cancels out all my perfumes that I own up there. Like, bye, I'm throwing you in the trash. Adios, okay? <sighs> it took me this long, 22, almost 23 years, to find this fragrance. Um, I never knew I needed it until I got it. It's a replica by Mason Margiela um, Flower Market. So it looks like this, okay? First of all, it's absolutely stunning. Do you see that? And it smells like exactly how you'd want flowers to smell. Let's just say you don't like the smell of flowers. You, you know, you're like, you're like the outcast song where he's like, roses really smell like poo poo poo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, roses do smell a little bit, but this right here is what you'd want a flower to smell like. And it's sweet, it's girly, it's, I'm trying to get married. This is a wedding day scent. This is like every time somebody meets you, they like, it's intoxicating. It kind of reminds me of like a girl who washes her hair every day. Um, and, and you just catch like a whiff of her hair and she has like gorgeous like locks and you're just sniffing it and all you smell is her shampoo. Mm, like that's this, but like times a thousand. This is my new favorite fragrance, guys. I'm putting you on. The best investment in this whole haul was this, okay? And I honestly am gonna go back and get a couple more because I like the other scents that they have as well. Okay, guys, that was my haul. I did spend about $700 on all of these things. I did, you guys can calculate it. I, I actually I don't calculate it because I don't have exact numbers, but it's around $600, $700. And honestly, it was worth it because it was for you guys and it was for myself because I'm trying to look good, smell good, feel good, trying to let these know that I'm about to be, you know, stepping out. And I wanted you guys to have some new products that you guys could be obsessing over as well. So if you guys end up picking up any of these products that I mentioned today, please let me know. And let me know what you think, honest opinions, honest thoughts. If you own them already, tell me what you think. I just wanted new, that's what I wanted. I wanted new everything. I wanted to just start over and I'm really happy with my choices. I hope you guys love this video. If you guys did, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and make sure that you comment and share. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section, so please Please do that. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Now make sure that y'all get that perfume on my plan. Get it now. Bye!